Hi friends, it's Mrs. Civitella. I'm really excited to be with you today. I miss you a lot and I hope that you're enjoying the nice spring weather and that you're getting outside as much as possible. Today I'm going to read to you the book, The Crayon Box That Talked by Shane DeRolf. And I'm reading it to you today with permission from Scholastic Publishing. All right, so here we go. The Crayon Box That Talked. While walking in a toy store the day before today, I overheard a crayon box with many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green said, nor do I, and no one here likes orange, but no one knows just why. We are a box of crayons that doesn't get along, said Blue to all the others, something here is wrong. Well, I bought that box of crayons and I took it home with me and laid out all the colors so the crayons could all see. They watched me as I colored with red and blue and green and black and white and orange and every color in between. They watched as green became the grass and blue became the sky. The yellow sun was shining bright on white clouds drifting by. Colors changing as they touched, becoming something new. They watched me as I colored. They watched me till I was through. And when I finally finished, I began to walk away. And as I did, the crayon box had something more to say. I do like red, said yellow, and green said, so do I. And blue, you were terrific, so high up in the sky. We are a box of crayons, each one of us is unique, but when we get together, the picture is complete. Look what a great job they did. The end. Friends, I really like this book because it talks about how unique each and every crayon is because of its own special shade, but it's even better when they all come together as one complete picture. And that's how I feel about Hopewell Christian Preschool and being your teacher. I love when we're all together and I know that we're all gonna be together back soon. I hope that you're being really good listeners and that you're being kind to your brothers and sisters and moms and dads, and that you're keeping God in your thoughts and your prayers every day. I love you and I miss you and I'll see you soon. Bye.